Hey guys, welcome to Flicks and Comics. Jojo here. Hope y'all are doing well uh, today. Look what we got in the mail, guys. We got the Comic Tom 101 Mystery Mail Call. And I'm really excited to crack into this one this month because every single subscriber will be getting a TMNT variant with artwork by John Boy Myers, who does amazing work. So I'm very excited to crack into this. But first, but first, y'all know we are doing tequila taste testing every single month and today look what we have we got the ornitos lime shot and i wanted to quickly give a shout out to johnny five alive who actually recommended that i try this one uh, he left a comment in my last mystery mail call unboxing video so thank you so much johnny i'll leave a link below if you don't know who he is he's a cool guy in the community and he also collects comics so yes Thank you so much, Johnny. So back to our Ornitos info, we got 100% agave plata tequila here. I tend to gravitate more towards the blanco and silver tequilas over the uh, agave or añejo ones, but um, those are good too. I just tend to like these better. Um, and it says it's uh, with natural lime flavor. So this is infused with a little bit of lime to make it taste great, um, which I don't mind at all, obviously. I still got my lime here. So, um, and yeah, it is also a 35% alcohol. So yeah, definitely um, something that you need to drink responsibly. <laughs> the little blurb in the back says, here's to define tradition, then defying it again by introducing the crisp lime flavor naturally suited to the revolutionary spirit and taste of Ornitos 100% agave tequila. So all right guys, let's try it. I already poured it. It is here in my Jason Voorhees shot glass. And ready, let's go. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Holy smokes, was not expecting that. That has a bite, ooh. All right, so <laughs> interesting. It definitely has that lime burst to it. Although I think I just prefer tequila without the added lime flavor. It tastes a little too artificial to me. Um, definitely not as smooth as the Terramana that we had last time. Definitely prefer that over this one. Although the Terramana um, is about $10 more for the bottle than, I believe this one was 20 bucks, the other one was 30. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a quality difference there. That's not to say this is bad at all. It's got that like refreshing flavor to it, but I have a feeling this is gonna taste a lot better in a mixed drink, so guys. I got my Joja Rita all prepped and ready. I just made limeade again and I put two shots of the Ornitos Lime shot in here. So let's just see how it tastes with a mixed drink. Mm. Oh yeah, <clears throat> that tastes way better in the Joja Rita. Definitely a much better experience in the mixed drink I would say than the actual shot itself but yeah just a heads up for you guys um if you do want to try this it's not necessarily a bad shot it's just i've had much smoother shots uh, of tequila before um also yeah in the in the mixed drink you don't taste that like artificial lime flavor it just kind of infuses really nicely within the uh, limeade so it's just very a very natural flavor but yeah, all right guys, let's get into this Comic Tom 101 mystery mail call. I got my box cutter here. And uh, let's get on into this. All righty. So it's always wrapped in a black bag. Nice. And you know, my stuff never comes damaged um, out of this box. So they do a good job shipping. So, all right, first up we have, oh, and here it is, awesome. Just what I was telling you guys. This is the TMNT variant by John Boy Myers. Look at that beautiful art of his. 
love that. It looks fantastic. And I believe uh, Tom was saying that this is the first time that you see this tray dress um, vertical like that off to the side instead of up here as it usually is. So yeah, really beautiful artwork. Love that. Next up, what do we got? Oh, and this is the art print. Very, very cool. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful um, drawing, but I don't know. There's something about her head that looks a little too big here. A little alien-like. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's definitely some gorgeous artwork. Next, we have, ooh, X-Men Classic, nice. I'm telling you guys, I keep getting some X-Men uh, goodness in these mystery boxes for some reason. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a sign from the comic gods that I should be reading some more X-Men, which I really do need to do. All right, next up, we got Superman, what is this? Number 372, nice, I didn't have this. That's pretty cool, <laughs> you can see. Superman back there like in the wave. He looks like he's invisible almost because he's going through the kids there too, which is interesting. I don't know what's going on there, but it's a very clean copy. Nice. Nice little back issue, you know? That's why I like getting these boxes. I'm definitely much more of a back issue type of person, so. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, we got a saga here. I still need to read this. I heard it's like super good. This is by um, Fiona Staples and Brian K. Vaughn. But yeah, definitely a series that I need to get into. Um, right next up, what is this? Oh, we got Electra Root of Evil. Ooh, look at her. Look at her doing that karate. That's pretty cool. Never even seen this book before. So nice, nice add to the collection. And then we have one more. Oh, and this was the other exclusive, the Marvel um, exclusive, the Comic Tom exclusive. So look at that. That's beautiful artwork right there. Yeah, and that's number seven. So uh, this one must have the little logo thing in the back. Yeah, same. That's so cool that he does his own exclusive with Mill Geek Comics. And who does this artwork? I'm not sure. We'll look at the uh, info card in a second. So. All right, and I think that's it. Yes, it is. Oh, they actually gave me two of these little uh, info card slash prints and that's the print for this month it's a little green lantern action that's really cool i like that they make their info cards like little artwork that you can like put up wherever you want it's pretty neat all right so let's see so everyone got this thor variant so that's really cool um it was the tmnt variant that's limited. So mine, this color version, um, was out of uh, 1,750 prints. So that's a pretty low print run. You could have also gotten the seven out of 700. And that was that black and white one that you see right there. I can't point, but right there. And oh, I didn't even realize that's an homage. That's cool. <laughs> now I can see it. Yeah, that's an homage of uh, X-Men 173. So you can see if you guys don't remember what that looks like, it's right there. That's really cool. Really, really cool. That's definitely a keeper. So that's about it for the box, guys, as you can see there. Definitely think that the TMNT uh, variant here was the highlight of the box for sure. Uh, if you're interested in ordering the box, I'll definitely leave the info down below so you can check it out. That's about it for this video. If you liked it, give me a like or subscribe or both. I don't hate it. And you can catch me on Twitter and on Instagram at Flicks and Comics. And cheers, guys. Pink!